Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Drone, we're going to build, price, and option a 2018 Mercedes E400 4Matic Coupe. Before we do that, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. All right, so obviously we're on the overview page for the E-Class Coupe. They say E-Class Coupe, but here's the scoop on it. It only comes in one trim. It comes as a 400, which is a 3-liter uh, V6. Uh, putting out 329 horsepower. We're going to get into that. You'll see all the specs. We're going to go through all that. I'm just giving you a quick <laughs> quick thing. that They only come in E400s, right? It's an E400. You can either get it in two-wheel drive or you can get it in a 4Matic, all-wheel drive. All right? For 2018, the coupe is all brand new. It's been completely redesigned, and it now matches the, the sedan and the wagon that got redesigned last year. All right? Uh, and it's really attractive. The vehicle is really 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 attractive um so much so it makes me think mm, if i were to have a new mercedes and i wanted to have a new mercedes that i wasn't trying to spend well all the money in the world on or have to have an amg product and you don't need back seats or you don't need four doors i should say this is a really good candidate because it's bigger than the c-class the c-class is very nice mind you but this one's really nice all right, let's 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 go over these modules, and then we're going to jump into the building price. So we got the design here, and and it is all that. It really is. Um, it's got an all new body, like I said, and they're saying that it's got the agility of an athlete, so it's sporty, and the passion of an artist. So you know, obviously, it's design. It looks good, etc. Uh, design is a romance language. It says it's got a pillarless design. What they mean by that is, you know, there's a this is a what's called an A pillar, and then this. Uh, pillar back here is called a B pillar and normally there's also another piece of metal right here especially on a four-door car and it's still on two-door cars as well they put a piece of metal right here and that's called a B pillar and on the Mercedes on this car there is no B pillar that's what they mean by pillarless design and it is extremely attractive in here look at the interior look at the design I mean it really is all that I like it anyway I think it's attractive the interior looks good I don't want it in this color but it looks good the love of driving comes from within. Uh, the rear cabin is more spacious. Every detail is more special. From the intriguing bespoke air vents to exclusive new options and exotic wood trim. We're going to have some fun with this car. We're going to have some fun with this car. When you have an E400, you know, you've already graduated. You don't, have to you don't have to run the kids to school and stuff like that. And so now, you know, you get to dress this car out. <laughs> You're probably not going to have many people in the back seat. So... Let's uh let's see. See more of the world with friendly side windows, giant standard panorama roof. E-Class offers more than a mere view. From horizon to horizon, the sun and the stars, it can be sweeping vistas and a brighter outlook to ever. Yeah, that's cool. Um, I love the design of the grill. That's very attractive. Um, uh, LED tail lamps wrap around uh, its rear shoulders. Stylish wheels come in a selection of 18 and 19 inch uh, designs. Um, they call this hexagonal chrome tip pins radiate from the star grill. That's what they call these. Uh, let's see. Though, there's the wheels. And then we should see those tail lamps that, we, that they had mentioned. No? Okay. So two sets of wheels. So yeah, two wheel designs, right? This must be the 18 inch wheel, surely. And then this is the 19 inch sport wheel because you can see it says amg right there if you wanted to get the sport package and it's still cool that they do the cross drill brakes it really adds it does add a little braking performance and it looks really good um all right so here's the coupe here's the coupe and we're definitely going to do the formatic with the or we're definitely going to do the amg line here's it is with the amg line and i think it looks a lot more muscular you know it's got a different sill down here it looks a lot more muscular. This is a good-looking car. The E400 Coupe uh, with AMG line. Very attractive. All right, let's see. Um, look at that interior. Just gorgeous. It's gorgeous in this color, too. I don't know what they call it. I don't know what they call it. Saddle. Look at the under light right here. Look at the two big uh, LCD screens. This is my new car. This is my new car. If I had a new car... This would be my new car. Let's see. Let's learn about the innovation. Uh, it's got first-of-their-kind technologies. Bring driving safety, comfort, and connectivity 
into a new era where cars can talk to each other and look out for you like never before and like no other coupe. All right, that's cool. Um, car to X technology. Here's some of it. Car to X technology lets your E Class communicate with a central hub to report and receive updates about driving conditions beyond your line of sight. Pre safe sound. <laughs> can sense an impending collision and pre-trigger your ear's natural defense against loud noises. That's pretty interesting. Mercedes has been doing that particular thing. Maybe I don't think they've called it pre-safe sound, or maybe they have, but I know they've done that for a long time. Mercedes has always been at the forefront of technologies. I tell anybody who wants to listen, and even those who don't. Um, so here's those big screens. 12.3-inch screen unites uh, navigation, entertainment, numerous comfort settings, and an intuitive touchpad on the console. A second 12.3-inch digital instrument cluster is also available. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are standard. They should be at this price point. Um, the lights are beautiful. Swivels to brighten curves. Swings to set your mood. With 100% LED lighting, the E-Class is better equipped to help you see and be seen. Optional active headlamps adapt to curves and traffic ahead. In the cabin, 64 colors of ambient lighting let you suit let you yeah, let you suit your mood or set a new one. Mm, this is the car. This is the car. I have been really stale on what to have. This is the car. And then let's get about the seat controls. A sense of well-being comes from all your senses, from seat belts that reach out to greet you. Hmm. To seat belts that can soothe you with heat, cooling ventilation, or a massage. And E-Class offers countless comfort innovations. Um, yeah. You can even have the cabin air ionized and infused with aromatherapy. And I'm assuming that that doesn't speckle or, or stain any of the wood. I'm sure they've already thought that far that whatever aromatherapy stuff they use doesn't stain it. So it's an FYI that... If you did have this car or any Mercedes that can do something like this, make sure that you're probably using one of their approved oils so that way you don't go ruining your dashboard or your or something like that when the oil is like misting out on top of your your really expensive car. Uh, the best connection can set you free. All right. Uh, in the car or out, Mercedes will uh, Mercedes me connects you to your world its smartphone app includes remote start and far more okay so it's that same deal that a lot of manufacturers well not a lot everybody has where you can start your car lock and unlock your doors you know check your maintenance kind of stuff blah 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 not to put it down it's also it's all really cool stuff but it's all standard fare for 2018 and going forward uh it says it also brings the internet and wi-fi to your car Five years at Embrace Connect services are standard. Sounds like a long time. Um, there's a nice, beautiful shot of that car. It is surely beautiful. Surely beautiful. Uh, performance. Yeah, I want to know a little bit about this. I'm thinking to myself, you know, the performance is more than adequate. 329 horsepower uh, is very adequate. But let's see. Uh, the E-Class may look agile standing still, but wait until you feel it in motion. Lean, taut muscle clings to every surface. It's longer, it's wider, it's lighter, and it's tighter. Meaning, I don't know, the suspension, the whole package, I don't know. While its lines are sleeker, it moves even, even smoother in the curves, right? 329 horse, twin turbo V6, 0 to 60, and a respectable 5.5. Five. And in a matter of milliseconds, it can fine-tune itself on the fly, turning... Every drop of fuel into a tidal wave of torque. That was nice how they said that. Uh, a mode for every mood and, a, and, and for every driver in you. Dynamic Select dials in the car's performance character with the tap of a console button. Okay, so the throttle, the shifting, the chassis, and more sharpen in the different modes, right? Sport mode uh, and eco mode, all right? There's an eco mode, too. And there's even a mode that you can set up, right? Of course, there's a custom mode as well. Everybody has that. Um, it's got a nine speed transmission. I'm not going to read it kind of, I'm going to kind of graze over some of the rest of it. If you want to make sure that you get all the paragraphs in, then simply just pause the video momentarily. So you read it. So it's got nine speed transmission, uh, with paddle shifts. All right. Mind you. Uh, all right. Let's, let's do take the time to read about this athletic ability. Uh, lowered multi-link suspension, uh, conquers corners. 
optional self-leveling adaptive multi-mold air body control turns pressurized air into poise handling and polish ride you know normally i don't pop for the air body and all that kind of stuff we're gonna pop for that today i'm dressing this bad boy out exactly like i'm gonna put it in my driveway all right so i think we're almost to the bottom enjoy the drive as always in season e 400 formatic that's the one we're gonna get Sends torque to the wheels that can use it best. On slippery roads, 4Matic adds all-wheel drive confidence. In dry corners, it adds fun. Light, nimble, and efficient. You'll enjoy its benefits. I know that's right. Um, I never wanted, I was never big on, on, on all-wheel drive. Now I can't seem to live without it. I, every car I think of, I think all-wheel drive. And if it doesn't have all-wheel drive, it kind of falls off my list. I don't know. That's must be getting old. I don't know. All right, E400. Here's some more photos. Let's look at the gallery really fast. Let's take a minute to look at the gallery. We're just going to speed through it. We're not going to click the more info. Let's take a minute to look at the photos because the car is, well, that's not attractive. There's the dashboard with the stitching. There's a nice shot of the front end. There's those seat belts, and they look like they extend out, I guess, when you probably open the door or something like that or I don't know. Uh, here's a car with the AMG Sportline package on it, for sure. And I don't know what color, but it's really nice looking. Maybe I might do that color. Mm, the emerald green. Those colors are always pretty, but I don't think I have the stones to, to drive around with that bad boy. Maybe the green, though, is kind of attractive. Look at the panoramic roof that hangs off the back. Super attractive. Oh. 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 Woo! Look at that thing. Oh, all right, I'm out of here. I got to get to building. I got to get to, We got to get to building. Let's just scroll down real quick. All right, so let me click this so we're not all highlighted. All right, so the E400 Coupe, it's basically 59000 Um, uh, And then there's the 4Matic, which is 61.5, basically. We're going to do the 60. Oh, what's the 0 to 60 is 5.2 seconds on this car. Whoa, you shaved three-tenths of a second off acceleration on the coupe. Yes, and there's your 354 pound-foot of torque. All right, let's get into the build. Let's just get into the build because we can go through these colors, but it's going to have us go through the colors again, so it's just it's redundant. So let's just get into the build. I'll meet you over there. All right, see, I told you. Here we are, here, and here's all those colors again. So our internet price is 62395 so you could Take note up here in the corner as I add things and da-da-da, this total is going to change and move. And maybe even this estimated lease. But who wants to lease? I want to buy it in cash. But maybe I want to lease. Who knows? Uh, anyway, uh, let's see. Colors. Let me scroll down a little bit. Well, we, I guess we can see them all. This was that one color, I bet, that I thought was attractive. Dune Silver Metallic. I suspect that this just doesn't do it any justice. This photo just doesn't do it any justice. Then we've got obsidian black. We've got iridium silver, the lunar blue. That's attractive too. TOO is an also. There's that emerald green. If anybody could pull off that color, it would be me because colors like that need a lot of love. They need a lot of pampering so they stay looking attractive. Da 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 da. -da. If anybody could pull off that color, I most certainly could pull off that color. Most certainly. Red. That doesn't do this car good. This car is classy upscale. Not that red can't be, but in this particular application, I'm just not feeling red. I am feeling this dune silver metallic based off of the other photo that we saw. Um, and I think we're going to go with the dune silver metallic. It's a $720 option. We're definitely going to go with the AMG line. Let's go ahead and view more. And Well, let's go ahead and hit preview. Uh, right, right. We already know the deal with that. We already know the deal with and I guarantee this color is going to look better in person. We're going to do that AMG line. And then, yeah, it, we have to add one of the two AMG wheels, but it, it defaults to the 18-inch wheel. We're certainly going to get the 19-inch wheel, but by default, it gives us the no-cost option 18-inch wheel that comes standard with the AMG line package. And here's everything that comes with it. Black headliner, brushed aluminum pedals, sports steering wheel, AMG interior styling, you got the 18-inch bad boy wheels. But we're about to up update to the 19s because it's the way to go, right? Now we got the 19s on there. We're looking super sporty. 
this car is hot. It really is. It makes me feel happy just looking at this car. Now, I always love the Illuminated Star, but here's what I know about the new Mercs. If you get the Illuminated Star, that means you're going to be missing out on all those some of the tech packages you probably want. And then it makes you remove the star. So because I already know that, because I already know that, I'm not going to get the Illuminated Star. Now, the black mirror housings, if I had chosen another color, well, yeah, if I had chosen another color, I'd go with the black mirror housings. But this color just does I don't think it lends itself to the black mirror housing. We're not going to do that. The rear spoiler, we're all about the rear spoiler. Yeah, we're, we're all about that for 350 for sure. Um, we did the 19-inch wheels. Um, these are all accessories you can get at the dealer, FYI. They have these 20-inch wheels, but we have the AMG kit package, so that's not going to look cute, all right? Uh, what we are going to have, yeah, so there we are with that. We're all good there. Let's go on to the next deal. We're sitting at 66000 that's fine. Here's here's what I'm thinking. This car should come in somewhere under seventy thousand or somewhere under eighty thousand dollars, and that puts you at the same price point as well. I don't know, kind of everybody these days. You know, there's Cadillacs that I like that are seventy thousand dollars. So let's look at this Mercedes. I like this Mercedes a lot. I'm not saying I like it more than a Caddy, but I I like them all. Let's look at this one. Let's get this spinning done. All right. I don't really like how they do this angle anymore, but it is what it is. I want to look at this first. Okay, so that's called Saddle Brown with black leather, and that'll look really good with our, well, let's just call it kind of gold, sort of, kind of. That'll look good with our exterior paint. But, but, I love the Designio or the Designo or Designio or whatever they call it. I love the, well, hold on a second, hold on a second. I love how you can get the diamond stitching, the diamond quilt. All right, let me put this, put this at that angle. and But here's the deal. Now, check this out. When I click that, it's going to say to add this $4,200 option, you have to add that. To add that feature, you must also add one of the following, either the Premium 2 package or the Premium 3 package. By default, they give us the Premium 2 package simply because it's cheaper. So we'd have to add that. So that's now $10,000. $10,800, and then to add that feature, we must also add one of the following. So they also want to change the wood grain interior because that whole Designo is also pa is an interior package all the way into the wood trim. All right, so they're going to give us the one that's a buck and a half, though there are some more expensive ones. Um, I'm going to say yes to that just because I want to see what it looks like. I'm not saying I'm committed to it, but I just want to see. Hmm. That's almost going to make me want to change the uh, exterior color. That's going to make me want to change the exterior color because I like I, I like that, but I don't I don't like the exterior color with that. So, with that said, let's go let's go with the diamond white metallic the Designo. You know, if you've watched some of my other Mercedes videos, I'm putting up one right now. To the S63, I always go with the white. You know why? Not because I'm lame, but because it's good looking. Because it's just dang good looking. I'm going to put a link up to my S63 video. You got to see it. Go watch it when you get done with this one. When you get done with this one. I just love Mercedes. Anyway. Anyway. All right. Um, so we're at seven. <laughs> okay. Well, maybe forget that whole $80,000 thing. All right. Forget what I just said two minutes ago. Forget all of that noise. Who's talking that trash? All right, seventy-eight thousand dollars. We're we're sitting at this. This is this is a car for a man of wealth and leisure. I don't care about seventy-eight thousand dollars. I'm a man of wealth and leisure. All right, uh, AMG line, the rear spoiler. I ran my mouth about all of that. Oh right, we chose this color because I went with this black interior and I like it. All right, got it, got it. Let's scroll down. Um. What do we want to do? What do we want to do? I want the illuminated door sills for sure, okay, for three fifty. Um, the heated steering wheel. Uh, I probably won't use it a lot, but I'd like to have the option. I want the feature to be there. Let's put it that way. Let's put it that way. The warmth and comfort package, rapid heating front and rear seats, uh, heated front armrest, and heated steering wheel. Well, I guarantee that if I click this, it's going to re want to remove that. Right? Of course it will. No? Okay. All right. Well, I'll remove it myself then. Wait. 
all right, never mind. <laughs> oh, it automatically would just check check that box. I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay. All right. So we got all of that stuff. Oh, there's the cabin cabin atomizer fragrances. Yeah, I want my cabin to smell good. Do they have uh, my favorite uh, cologne? I'm not going to mention it. Do they have my favorite cologne? I don't think so. Um, all right. Now, what do we want for the woods here? Now, that looks interesting for the buck and a half. Now, what was that called? That was called, can we zoom in on that? And it actually looked good? No, not really. Now, that was called what? That was called natural grain black ashwood. It's a buck and a half. Then there's this with the lines in it. No. I think, you know what? I think I'm just going to... I think we're just going to do that that natural grain black ash wood. Here's why. Not because it's 150 and I'm trying to save a buck, but because none of these look good to me and there's no sense in spending the the what is this? The $1300 just because it's $1300. I don't like it. I just don't like it. So, yeah. Oh, let's see what this looks like really quick. Uh yes. Let's see what this looks like really quick. Eh, it's too light. Because with this, with this color, I could have gone back to my other exterior color, but uh, I don't like that. That's just too light. We're going to go back to the black. All right, back to the black. Boom. All right, and we've got that ash, natural grain, black ash wood. We did all our options here. Okay, let's move on to what? Let's move on to uh, entertainment and convenience. So here's the reality is the reality is I want all these packages. Right. And so we're just going to pop for the premium three package for 10 grand. I mean, <laughs> this thing's going to be pushing what? I don't know. Ninety something thousand dollars. But who cares? Who cares? You only live once. All right. Premium three package. So let me go over the premium one package. Premium one package gives you active parking assist, blind spot assist, rear cross traffic alert, heated front seats, keyless go, electric trunk closer, hands free access, Burmester sound system, the Sirius XM radio with six months free. The near field communication technology, inductive wireless charging with NFC pairing, and then to that, you add all of this, okay? You got the power rear sunshade, the air balance cabin fragrance system, the purification, the instrument cluster. What's with the limited availability, man? What's up with that? Anyway, uh, LED intelligent and light system, and then all that, then you add all of this. So basically, it's everything that mercedes offers i mean here's the reality yep i i had mentioned that i wanted this that i thought this car was going to be eighty thousand dollars it's clearly not going to be not 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 my version of it anyway not it could be but not my version of it my version of this car is not 80 grand it could be but it's not but here's the deal the reality is is that 95 percent of the mercedes that are running around on the road aren't really that well optioned. That's a fact, man. That is a fact. But by checking this box right here, you can ensure that this Mercedes is probably one of the most well optioned Mercedes Benz in the country. Easily. Easily. And then I'm going to even add more to that. I'm going to throw in the soft closed doors. I'm going to throw in that high-end Burmester sound system. And I'm going to throw in the multi front seats, uh, the multi contour front seats with massage. Multi contour means that when you turn, the opposite bolster will puff up so you don't slide around in the seat. For just a thousand dollars, I want to get in on that. I'm in on that. Here's the, some standard features. I'm not going to read over them, but if you want to read them all, just go ahead and pause the video real quick. You can catch all these key standard features. Okay. All right. Uh, down here, some accessories that, well, I don't need. If I do find that I need them, yeah, do I'm gonna, am I going to get them for Mercedes? I don't know. Knowing me, I probably would just because I want, I buy into all of it. Uh, let's go to performance and safety. Wheel locks, yes. Air body control, yes. That gives you that awesome air suspension uh, with precise sensors and pressurized air struts. What that also means is when this stuff goes down, you're going to be in the shop. But you know what? I don't care because I'm under warranty, and they're going to give me an awesome loaner when I go there, and I like going to the dealer, and maybe I'll turn my camera on and film something while I'm there. So whatever. I'll take this for $1,900. The blind spot assist? Are you kidding me? It's not already bundled in with all that other stuff for $10,000? But yeah, give it to me. 
Oh, oh, it is. It is. It is bundled in there. Okay. It is. They, they just have it as an a la carte option as well. The rear side impact airbags. Yep, I care about my rear seat passengers. And here's some more key standard features. Real quick. Awesome stuff. Remember to pause the video because I'm about to move on. We're sitting at $93,000. We're going to be under $100,000 because I don't mess around with the service and care package stuff. I let people do that on their own. So here we are at the summary. And we have one bad mamma jamma. Mercedes E400 formatic coupe with the AMG line package on it. Hot. Hot. Very, very hot. Good looking car. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to need that for later. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. I'm going to go ahead and hit the print button. I'm going to save this PDF. And then I'm going to upload it to my file sharing site that I use called, uh, what is it called? Mediafire. That's the name. And then that will give me a link. And I'm going to put a link to the PDF in the description below. So if you want your E400 to look as good as mine, then now you can because you can download the PDF. And if you've made it this far, then you rock and you're awesome. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Have a wonderful day.